Have you ever wondered how your favorite YouTubers make their videos? Hi, I'm Tom, and I make coding videos here on YouTube. I'm probably not your favorite YouTuber, but in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my coding videos. So join me as I plan, record, edit, and finally upload my latest video to YouTube. I manage all my video ideas in this Notion document. So I have this Kanban board style setup, and whenever I have an idea for a video, I'll just put it in this ideas column here. So there's a few things in here that I'll probably make and then a few that I won't. And so if it sits there for long enough, I'll just delete it. And whenever I get some notes on the video, I can open it up and I can just put some notes inside of here. And some videos I'll write a full script for, and then others I'll just put some dot points in here. Notion's a really great tool for managing this sort of stuff. You can create all sorts of pages and everything, but I really only use this Kanban board. So once I've started working on a video idea, I will build out a full repository. I always build out everything that I'm going to build when I start recording. And that's because I don't want to get stuck solving a problem for a long period of time and then have to edit that out. I like the coding part, but I'm not a massive fan of the editing part. And so I try to minimize that as much as possible. And once I've finished building out my sample repository, I'll move that to my screen that sits to my right. And then I will have OBS sitting on my laptop screen that's on my left. And once I've recorded the video, it's now time to edit. And so I edit in DaVinci Resolve. Basically all I'm doing when I'm editing the video is just running through at two times speed. And I'll just find any parts that I messed up and so I can cut them out. Or any parts where it goes really slow, I can speed them up a little just so there's not like long periods of pauses and stuff like that. Once I've finished editing it, I usually make a compound clip and then I will add one audio effect and that is noise reduction. And then I use the auto speech recognition just because I think it takes out a bit of the background noise and it makes my voice a little bit clearer. And then when I've finished editing, I will add my outro to the end of the video. And that's just a clip that I have that is the perfect length and everything. And I'll add a little bit of music to go behind that as well. While the video is rendering, I go over to Canva and I start working on the thumbnail. I'll go search YouTube for videos that have a similar title to what I'm going to title my video, just to get a little bit of inspiration and see what other people are doing. And Canva is a really awesome tool for making good thumbnails. I'm not a very good artist. And so it lets me make pretty decent thumbnails with a very low skill level. Now that my video has finished rendering and I have a thumbnail, I can upload it to YouTube. So this was a pretty short video. So the rendering time was only about 15 minutes, but sometimes it can take up to five hours to render a full video. By this time as well, I've usually forgotten to add the repository to GitHub. So I'll upload it to GitHub and then I'll add a link to the repository in the description. And then I will copy the contents from another video for my social media links and that sort of stuff. I'll usually write a little introduction for it as well. And then I usually schedule my videos to get released on Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. my time. And then that is one video complete. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve my workflow, please make sure you leave a comment below. And if this has inspired you to start making your own coding tutorials, please let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.